Soyuz and the Soyuz Soyuz. And we are equalizing the pressure between the Soyuz and the docking module. Did you want uh, panel six uh, mode of oxygen sensitivity? Uh, yeah. Well, obviously, they had a little problem feeding that picture from uh, Houston through to Moscow, and that's why the screen is black. Good. Working on the picture right now. Might be a pilot. Yeah, we can move it right a bit so we can see the picture. Thank you. Uh, somewhere. Back, 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 back. It's right around. The process from moving from one vehicle to the other. Although they've finished most of that half hour now. We're just waiting for the last couple of minutes here, maybe a minute. Back. Time is around 41 minutes. I don't think we're good, Chet. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I see the time is, uh, yeah, it was here. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. Okay. About 52, I guess. Okay, here we go. Now, okay, but we got the valve open. We got the valve open. Okay. Apollo, Houston, we're still not, not reading Soyuz comp, but we are reading your hot mic. Okay. Okay, Vance, now uh, panel six, uh, load the box. Okay, box. This is the first uh, major communications drop out I think we had that Houston Mission Control is not hearing uh, from the station. Soyuz, Houston, 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 Houston,
the Russians will be in their pressure suits. They got into the suits for the docking and uh, and I believe for the depressurization. I think this yes. morning. I think they're still sensitive about hatches in space having had that problem before. Further problem, of course. Here it comes. Okay. Okay. Not, there's the handshake. There it is. There's the handshake. Oh, good. Very, very happy to see you. This is the Soyuz in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the Russian greeting of the Russian work. Yeah. Russian tradition. Yeah, that's great. Valeri. Come here. 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 Come What you're hearing there is a translation of what Tom Stafford and Deke Slayton are saying to Valery Leonov. Uh, they are speaking in Russian to them. Uh, now this is Tom going into the orbital module of the Soyuz. Uh, we're still not hearing Soyuz well. Are you hearing them? Loud and clear. All right. Hearing them clear. <laughs> Supposed to be a television link. Man, in order to uh, sneak the configuration, would you check on page uh, F1 40? Going to permit us to see the picture in the orbiting module. Uh, what we're we going like to see is a little more spacious and living quarters than, uh, than actually in our Apollo command module because this is really just sort of a living room, an experimental room. Uh, their flight control uh, is in their descent vehicle, so-called, which is where they ride on uh, ascent into orbit and on descent. And uh, the orbiting module is really just a, a, an extra room that's dropped off before they return to Earth. Their total amount of space in the two modules is uh, about equivalent to, to all of ours, a little more than all of ours in, in the command module. A little, a little more, but not, not, a, not a great deal. But it seems roomier in, in that, that mm -hmm. over the, that, over the, in the orbital the module. Orbit. It seems very roomy. Yeah. It's actually a parlor. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no problem transferring chuckles. <laughs> How do you read, Houston? We read you loud and clear, Tom. Okay, you get the picture? Roger, we've got a good picture of the hatch and you people inside there in the tunnel. There are television cameras inside the orbiting module. You can see the lights that they have rigged in there for that purpose. But uh, uh, they, they haven't switched over to them yet. Well, so I can see that. We expect to see the schedule that way. They had trouble with their television cameras in Soyuz yesterday, uh, and finally uh, were said to have solved the problem by opening up part of the instrument panel, cutting through it, and uh, using some uh, easy uh, strips uh, as, as insulating tape and wiring the wire together. <laughs> Deep Slayton went back and readjusted that camera. That's right in part of the yeah. checklist. Everything goes according to what they, uh, nominally, that is, according to the plan so far. There we got the oh, picture great. from inside the orbiting module. There's the Russian picture coming to us now. hard to make out at the moment. Those are the snakes that Tom was referring to, of yeah. course, these various cables and wires for communication. Tom, you ready for the uh, camera? There's a big blossom of light that's mm. causing that strange appearance there. This is how I typically look when I'm fishing, too. <laughs>